Hey guys, Bo Watson here. Today I'm going to cover how you can transfer your game from the range to the course. And this is a topic I'm really excited about. And before we go out to the course, I want to give a real quick shout out to Dwight Andrews. Um, on all the hard work that he's put in, um, Dwight came to me at the beginning of this year, um, wanting to break um, 90s consistently. And after all the hard work he's put in for the private sessions and then the playing lesson we had together, Dwight just sent me not too long ago, um, shooting a 79 at Old Home Place. So Dwight, great job on what you've done with your game. And for those of you that are interested in doing a playing lesson, um, that's one of the biggest highlights in the Biggest Loser program. And if you guys want to learn more about that, be sure to click the link down below. And let's go ahead and head out to the course. Hey guys, Bo Watson here. I'm out here at the range at Greensboro National and today's topic I'm going to cover why people are struggling with transferring their game from the range to the course. And the reason that is is that they aren't preparing properly on the range and transitioning to the course. Too often i found that for students it takes them to about hole four, hole five for they actually start getting into a groove. Well what if you took and sped that up into where you are stepping on the first tee acting as if you were already playing hole number three or hole number four. And that's what I'm going to cover today. So the typical routine when you're going through um, a typical warm-up session before you go out on the course, you can do this in about 15 to 20 minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a few wet shots, hit a few irons, and then I'm going to finish with a driver. Now the purpose is when you're doing this, guys, you want to finish with a few shots in between. You want to hit ideally probably about five to ten shots with a wedge. And if you ever go to a practice round at a PGA Tour event, you're going to watch PGA Tour players spend about 10, 15 shots each um, on their wedge shot, especially with 60 degree, 56 degree. They're doing all these shots to get the groove and their swing. So once you've done that, you feel like you're getting a pretty good warm up and you're getting the tempo down, then you switch to an iron. So after you hit a few iron shots, then you go from a 9 iron to a 7 iron to a 5 iron, and then you can ideally go to a fairly wood. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the driver. Okay, so now that you've hit a few shots, you've got pretty warmed up and you're loose, now is the key moment. So in order for you to transfer your game to the course, you need to do what I call play the first three holes on the range. So whatever course that you're playing that day, play hole number one, whatever hole number one is on that course. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick a few boundaries out here on the range. I'm going to use the yellow flag and the orange and blue as my left. So I'm going to create a very tight fairway. So that's going to be my hole number one. And the key mindset for this guy is you have to be in the same mindset that you would if you're standing on hole number one. If you're treating this as just another shot, well guess what? You're not putting yourself in the same situation that you're going to face on hole one. So pretend that you got a few of your golfing buddies sitting around you. Pretend that this is going to be a real shot and it's going to count. And so what you want to do is if you have a pre-shot routine, if not, I highly advise that you get one. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and go through my full routine and I'm gonna go ahead and plan this out. And no matter where you hit your drive, you accept that. Then, if you're familiar with the course that you play at, you take whatever club that you would normally have for your approach shot, and then you're going to play that next shot. So now I'm going to go to the blue flag. I got a 7 iron in hand, maybe a little bit too much, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer to the 8 iron. Now I got roughly about 147, 150. I'm gonna go ahead and go through and hit my eight iron. Normally it goes right about 150, 151. You always wanna go a club up. You never wanna go too low and then try to force it with too much speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through my full routine here. Okay, just landed just past about 25, 30 feet just behind the pin. Um, and that would be my hole number one. And then what you do, guys, is you would continue to do that for hole number two and then hole number three. So to recap, it's warm up, hit a few wet shots, move on to your irons, progress all the way down to a fairway wood, then hit a few drives. And then the key moment is go ahead and transition into playing hole one, hole two, and hole three. If you guys do that before you warm up, you're going to find that when you step on hole number one, you're going to feel like you're playing hole number four. And that should help you guys get your rounds going pretty quick and hopefully stop the double bogey and triple bogey that sometimes can creep up in the beginning of a round. So I hope you guys enjoy and I look forward to seeing you guys later in the week.